I'm finally at the stage of shaping this seat that goes on that ancient Egyptian stool. And so there were some big ears on here that I just knocked off with uh, with a carving gouge and a chisel just knocking that off. Of course there's quite a bit of smoothing yet that needs to be done. I'm also using a travisher here that I typically use for Windsor chair seats and it's a little bit handy for this as well. For example, this slat here is very much proud of where it needs to be. And there's a section of this that needs to be removed and the travisher works well on something like this. I may have to go from both directions, but so far it's working in one direction here. This has got to come down to this level. This whole center section has got to be coved. This is yellow poplar, and I'm also experimenting with uh, how I'm going to finish this. It'll be painted because the original piece was painted. And I'm going to use a milk paint. And here's one coat of the milk paint, and then I sanded it off, and I put some oil on this half of the... Thing. So the original was painted white, so I'm looking for ways of getting that ancient look. This is just a blade in there with this curved section. And it really works fast for Windsor chair seats. This way is not as not as friendly. So Now, also these corners are going to have to be worked. Let's see if I can smooth out this area right here. Yeah, that, that works. So I'm getting close to where this needs to go. Okay, that's good for now. And then I'm thinking about how how am I going going to cove out this area here? I got
I'll probably end up using some files as well um, to finish this shaping. This, this needs to come down quite a bit more. It's getting closer. So you can see the kind of activity that I'm going to need to do I want to get as much of this shaping done uh, with the seat loose like this before I put it on the lower platform here's the bottom and I did some shaping earlier around the sockets for the legs and I, I'm not going to try to make this perfect I've knocked off some edges, but uh, it'll be rough on the bottom. But the top of the seat really needs to be smooth. And it'll take a while to work that out. I'll probably even use some, well, I'll have to sand this as well. I'll start probably at 120 and go up to uh, 320.